morning. You're listening to Central Wisconsin's 24-hour information station, AM 1320 WFHR. It's time now for the Morning Magazine, brought to you by Comfort Air Heating, Cooling, Plumbing. Now, with the Morning Magazine, here's Carl Hilke. And thank you, Jerry, and good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's show on AM 1320 and streaming live at WFHR.com. We also welcome my buddy Jesse from Wisconsin Rapids Community Media. Uh, they're here uh, digitally recording us in high definition for later viewing on their fine website or on your local public access station, depending on which system you're on. And the reason why they're, he's here, it's time for a Witt County update. Witt County Board Chairman Doug Mahan joins us on this June 27th. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Carl. Okay. Well. Good morning, Jesse. <laughs> there we go. That's a, we're all one big family here. Uh, <laughs> so let's. Uh, it's, um, we're heading into the July Fourth uh, holiday, uh, right around the corner, and uh, I know Wood County parks are going to be filled and busy. What What are you hearing so far, Doug? Hopefully. I'm hearing that it's a good season so far. Yeah, it it has been. I I, I keep in regular contact with our, our parks director, Chad Schooley, and. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud of our parks, as you're well aware of. Mm -hmm. I think most residents should be. And uh, we're looking for another good year, as usual. Um, I think every year our parks get better in one way or the other. Uh, we're constantly working to improve them. And... Uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great thing. We're very fortunate to have that in our county. And I guess the uh, thing we would uh, just advise uh, everybody using them during the 4th of July. I know fireworks are a part of the celebration, but uh, be aware of the quiet times yes. in the parks. They're there for a reason. Everybody's there to try and get away and enjoy nature. Right. <laughs> exactly. And please be safe. Yeah, that's uh, it. As well as when, you, when you're traveling to and from the parks, when you're there, if you're dealing with any kind of fireworks, of course. Uh, be safe. Yeah, that's the big thing. And use some common sense. You know, past a certain hour, not a good idea to be blowing off fireworks. In the city as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, you know, like they said, uh, if it's past the time of a, a normal fireworks show, it's probably past time for you to be because it, people have to get up in the morning you and can work. Always think like a, think like a dog when it comes to fireworks. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so, I, I, I've been accused of having puppy ears for crying out loud. Uh, it's also budget time. And, and it's, your, it's your time, uh, for your first time as Wood County Board Chairman, yep. as you're putting together the county's budget. So uh, I'd like to get your uh, update on that and, and your priorities sure. with your first budget. It, it's always budget time. Actually, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, ironically, uh, uh, one unique situation this year is that uh, our finance director and I are both going through our first budgets together simultaneously. So... Uh, but it's been pretty good. It's been smooth. We're, uh, you know, every day is a different story. Actually, you know, when you think you got things uh, in perspective, then the next day you come in and you get kicked in the pants and and you sometimes take a step backwards. But uh, I think we're in a good we're in a good spot. I'm uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, we'll get things done. I think we're going to we're going to make some changes right now. We're looking at uh, uh Benefits right now is a big piece of the puzzle, and we haven't got final information on that, but we're looking at some ways to uh, uh, to come through that, um, and I think we're, we're going to be okay. What, what are some of the challenges in that area? Well, I, I, when you look at a, at a county budget, probably any, any public budget, you're looking at your biggest cost is employee wages and, and benefits, and as we all know, those things don't go down very often. They tend to escalate on a steady trending upward curve uh, and so you're always looking to offset those increased costs there with savings otherwhere or sources of money uh, whether it be uh, revenue streams that you can increase or uh, savings you can come up with in other areas uh, by doing things more efficiently uh, saving money when you purchase things uh, efficiencies uh, you have to look at all that stuff and, and hopefully offset those costs. It's, it's my mission to take care of our. I mean, we have a very good group in the county. I mean, we have great employees, and and uh, I think part of our mission is to is to take care of those people the best we can. Uh, we number one, we want to keep the good resource we have there. Uh, we have some bright stars in the county, and uh, that doesn't mean you have to be sitting in an office to be a, a credible worker. You can be driving a dump truck and be of high value to the county, and so. Uh, uh, we want to keep those people in place, and part of that keeping those in place is having a, a good uh, wage and benefits package that acts as an incentive. 
Now, with your uh, within the spending priorities, what uh, do you think will be the priorities of this budget? Well, I, th I think our our priorities as far as spending are always the same thing. Our our biggest budget, of course, is in human services. I mean, we're looking at probably a budget there that would be the equivalent of a lot of smaller counties total budgets in the state of Wisconsin. And you're looking in at probably about a thirty-five to forty million dollar budget for human services. A lot of those things are mandated by the state. We have no we have no choice. We have to offer those ser services. Uh, in certain areas, we get grants or money from the feds or the states to run those programs, but uh, that isn't always enough to fund them fully. And so it's up to us to come up with, uh, uh, in some cases, the remainder of those money or find ways to do them in an efficient manner so that we can reduce the amount of tax levy uh, that goes in those. Uh, they still have to be good programs. And we still are obligated um, as a society to, to, to make the picture very broad. Uh, you know, our constituents have told us that th those programs are important. And if they're important to our constituents, we provide those programs. And, and sometimes that costs money. And uh, if there's buy-in from our constituents, we, we look for the best ways to, to provide those programs. What are some of the challenges you face in, in sustainability in those programs? Well, I, I think that part, part of it, I mean, I, I love to talk about uh, long-term care. I mean, when we, we look at a facility like Edgewater, you know, long-term care facility, you know, our, our, the people of Wood County have said that we're, we're into that. We happen to operate that program at, you know, it's, it's hard to operate those programs uh, uh, in the black because we're somewhat handicapped by, by state. Uh, we don't operate on the same uh, playing field as as a private sector when it comes to nursing homes. Uh, we're somewhat handicapped, and so uh, uh, that makes it tough. That makes it tough at times. But we, I think we've done a very good job there. I, I think we've done a, a really good job it, compared to other counties. I talked to other counties, and uh, uh, we're in a good spot, and we're working very hard to get into a better spot there. We have people working on that uh, constantly, uh, looking at ways we can. We can do our job better. We can do our job more efficiently, and we can provide services. We're looking at bringing a TBI unit into Edgewater, a traumatic brain injury unit, um, that could be a, a revenue generator and help us help us operate that facility in a better financial picture. Uh, the um, roads have been a, a top priority in recent budgets. Uh, how are we? There, I mean, the the county board, you know, voted to do the bonding. Yeah. They said we could, it's better to fix them now and yeah. than uh, pay a lot more later. And, and I'm op I'm very optimistic when it comes to road spending. I, I I think that we're in a good place right now. I I think this the big bonding issues, uh, big dollar, big ticket, uh, so to speak, when it came to remedial work on the roads. I think we're to the end of that cycle. And I think we're going to we're going to have a much more uh, consistent uh, message. I don't think we're ever going to be uh, in a you know I don't I don't want to put my feet in cement here, but I don't think we're ever going to be in a place where we don't have to bond for for highways mm -hmm. uh, every year uh, until the dynamics change at the state level. I was going to say the state this yeah. the, this thing is all based on what the state does. Absolutely, absolutely. And until things change there uh, with county road funding. Uh, we're probably going to be forced forced to bond uh, somewhat. Is that acceptable? Yeah, it has it has to be in certain cases because uh, there's no other there's no other revenue stream for taking your roads up, and we're not going to turn our roads we're not going to turn blacktop roads into gravel. I don't think that's going to fly. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, do you have a goal in terms of? Ta uh, uh, where you would like taxes to be in, in this budget? You want a no tax increase budget, or are you saying oh, yeah, we got that, would, that would certainly be nice? I don't think that's <laughs> probably doable. I would, I would, I would say this: if if we if I can look at it, and this isn't just me; this is eighteen other members of well, the sure. county board. But I, if I can look at this and say that we are doing things as efficiently as we can, uh, as fiscally responsibly as we can, and this is what we have to levy then that's what we have to levy. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. There, there are some things we can't just go in with an ax. I can't say, let's lay off 100 people. Uh, because if I, lay, if, if I say that, not that I can say that, but if that would happen, you know what? Services are going to be cut somewhere. And so somebody's going to, number one, be unhappy. And number two, uh, that service is probably, if you delete it, is probably going to cost you money somewhere else down the road. So it's, it's, a, it's a mix and match. 
and it's it's never easy. Now you're you're in a difficult position because counties are the administrative arm of state government a- and federal and federal to an extent too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and yeah, again, you go back to uh, unfunded mandates. There's all kinds of them. I, I can bring a list next month if you want. Well, we could do that. Hey, you know what, Doug? I think th- I think that would be very educational for me and our listeners to hear. Here's the stuff that federal or state authorities say you got to do. And by the way, we have no money for it. <laughs> or, or not enough money. Or not yeah, enough yeah. money. I, I think that would be very educational. Yeah, we'll we'll for give f- you 10 cents. It's going to cost you a dollar, but we'll give you 10 cents. You do, <laughs> do the best you can. If you're, if you're just joining us on The Morning Magazine, we're getting our Wood County update for count, County Board Chairman Doug Mahan. Of course, the big item right after the 4th of July, July 10th through the 12th, is Wisconsin Farm Technology Days up in the Marshfield uh, area and uh, from the county's perspective there's been a lot of people working three years on this and we've been highlighting uh, different aspects of it as a preview on the morning magazine and on the noon report and a programming note on Friday we'll have Dave Home and Terry Boers here on Innovation Square at Farm Technology Days last week we talked about food I mean we've done we've talked about cranberries and the cranberry growers uh, a lot of different aspects of Wood County are going to be featured how important is this to Wood County to be hosting Farm Technology Days this is huge this I'm here to tell you this is huge. I wish we could get this every year. Oh. I, I wish this was an annual event in Wood County, like the water ski show. Uh, you don't have to be a farmer to get something out of this mm-hmm. this thing. That's what uh, one of the things we've been stressing. And don't get me wrong. I'll preface my I'm not a farmer, but I'll tell you what. You know what? I love farmers. I, I love farming is a big part of our economy in Wood County, and I love farmers. Number one, because I like to eat, <laughs> and, and they're the guys that do it for us. But but the fact is, there is so much going on in this in this thing. I had, to, I had to write a list because I knew I was coming today and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. But it's amazing. In fact, I bar- brought you a book. I brought you the official program here, Carl. This is just for you. Uh, but uh, you dive into that thing and you'll be amazed what's what's going to be what's going to be there. Airplane rides. Uh, they're going to have a med chopper display. The Marshfield Clinic is doing a, a big health farm safety thing there that's Mm -hmm. going to be and in fact i i'm told they're going to be doing a live tractor rollover demonstration uh, which that's big stuff those are huge things not only for the general public but for far farmers tons of information a lot of really good stuff for farmers cutting edge stuff that's what it is farm technology yeah technology days they're talking farming has come a long ways from uh the old uh, mule dragon the the, the one for a plow. I mean, let me tell you, there's there's innovation in farming. And I I, I, I talk to our uh, our conservation guys all the time. And, and we have some initiatives going there that may come to fruition for the county. But stuff like no-till and, and chisel plowing and, and things like that. And, and, and for the uh, uh, application of manure and things like that. Those things are big. The technology is expanding monthly. And uh, the uh, farms that are hosted that, that are joining together, D mm-hmm. and B Sternweiss Farms mm-hmm. and Weber's Farm Store and Hyman Holsteins, they're very progressive farmers. I yes, mean, they they, they've uh, they've embraced technology, and they're going to be wanting to show them off to everybody. Absolutely. And they have said, we want uh, we want the regular consumer out here to know what is going on uh, with their with on the farm. Plus, there's going to be stuff for. Just for fun, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, people can go put on, go see what a cranberry marsh looks yep. like. <laughs> I, I need. Mean, I have a list of stuff here. There's uh, aquaponics. You know, yeah, oh, yeah, ranch growing, farming. Right. It's very interesting. I don't know if any. Uh, I I buy some lettuce. I'm kind of a little bit into organic food once in a while. But uh, we have a, a farmer in Rudolph that grows lettuce aquaponically, and uh, he has tilapia that are the fish that he uses in his aquaponic. And so once, um, about once a month, he purges his his uh, fish right. stock. And I can buy f- fresh tilapia from him and get, take get that. Get, uh, give me the address. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds good. And that's great. I mean, fresh fresh from there. But not only thing, but there's going to be another thing, Marshfield Clinics, they're going to have all kinds of free health screenings. Uh, that's what them, I've heard, yeah. And one of them I know is for, like, skin cancer. I mean, what? What a great, we all can yeah, deal. What a great relationship. I mean, farmers, obviously, you're outside all day long. Why not? Um, and maybe some farmers may not be aware of it. Maybe some older generation farmers may not be aware of the effects of skin cancer. I, you know, I know people that have that, and I know I know that it can be devastating. And uh, I, I think that's great stuff. Uh, 
different things uh, on cutting edge stuff. They're, they're going to have some demonstrations on the production of uh, biochar and lump charcoal so that farmers can use it right on their own premises for energy sources, things like that. I mean, those, that those are things that are so cutting edge and people don't even think about, but that's how far ad, advancing this technology is for farms. They're all, they're farm, they're always looking for stuff. And, and if, if you're just um, wanting to go there, the, the family living educational area oh. is going to have something for any family. It, it, that absolutely. Will, and they, uh, we've uh, highlighted that. So there's going to be, and there's going to be some fun. Like I said, there's going to also be fun. Uh, uh, Mag, uh, Mad Dog and Merrill yeah. will be doing some barbecuing yep. on the grounds That'd on Tuesday great. starting at 11 a.m. And so... Uh, Which gets us to food. Yeah. And, uh, and food, you've and done the show on food. Uh, food, food. And it highlights Wood County's diverse yep. food menu. Well, well, the the stuff coming. that we produce. Yep. Locally. All, all, all locally. of the meats and everything else is local mm -hmm. produce. This is what is produced in Wood County. So this is a great, for Wood County, this is, I mean, you can't even, I don't think you can put a, a dollar amount on how valuable oh. this is for exposure about what Wood County is all about. Ab absolutely. And, and that's, the, that's the beautiful thing about it. This is going to have a great financial uh, impact on the county. Uh, I think that probably you're going to have a hard time getting a motel room uh, in Marshfield or Wisconsin Rapids for those three days and and probably that week because a lot of the vendors will be coming early. I mean, the vendor area alone on this thing is like over 40 acres of vendor tents. They're uh, and they're building it now. Tent yeah. City is being built now. As, as we speak. Yeah. And, and like I said, it's I compare it to, uh, as a golf fan to what happened at Aaron Hills last year when they had to build that stadium mm -hmm. to house the uh, U.S. Open. Yep. And then I was there after that and I saw them starting, you know, taking down stuff. But I mean, it's. That was months, mm -hmm. uh, and this is, uh, you know, uh, well, which leads to uh, we had that four or five inches of rain that hit Wood County. How is it up on the— Pray for good weather. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pray well, that's why I for the state. But, I mean, in terms of building right now, building Tent City, is it going pretty smoothly? I, 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 I talked to uh, uh, the extension people yesterday in the courthouse, and, and it is progressing well. So we're, uh, we're getting there. Everything's on schedule as far as I know, and— uh, as I said, pray for good weather. Uh -huh. I mean, good. The one thing that could could probably hurt us a little bit is if we have some of these torrential rains that we seem to be the the case this summer. It, uh, when we get it, we get it all at once. Uh -huh. But let's hope let's hope we don't. At least, especially on the. July. We have a rainfall demonstration already. We don't need any more rain. <laughs> right, <laughs> July 10th through the 12th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And admissions just eight bucks, free parking, mm -hmm. and um, bring your family uh, to do it. I mean there's something for the kids there's something for everybody and see what is involved with farming and, and the food that is produced in Wood County and if you like it you can there's going to be a, a tent set up that you can buy some and take it home with you that's they're it. They're going to be selling the same stuff they're going to be serving. So. Okay, yeah. So there, there you go. So we're going to celebrate and, and in many ways this is a celebration of Wood County. I think it is. I th that's a great way to classify it, I, I think. And uh, I think if you look hard, you might be able to find a cheese curd there. <laughs> I've heard. Yes, <laughs> I, I've heard that uh, uh, the Weber's Farm Store is going to be <laughs> providing some uh, cheese curds. I, I don't know about you, but I can't walk past cheese curds. No, me neither. No. no I, uh, hey, we're, you're not a Wisconsinite if you <laughs> don't like a cheese I think curd. that could be the case. Yeah. Uh, but so... <laughs> What would you hope happens as a result of this? Well, maybe some a business or people decide, hey, Wood County is a pretty nice because this thing is going to have thirty. It could have like thirty to forty thousand people a day. Yep. Uh, and and we'll, I mean, I think that part of this is that Wood County gets showcased. Uh, our parks, in particular, will be showcased. Uh, the the farm economy of Wood County. I mean, the, we have some high tech farmers in Wood County. I mean, and mm -hmm. as you said, the host families are, are part of that, but they're not the only ones. There's there's some high-tech farmers out there. Uh, and I think it, it shows that we're where we are, that how vital that farming economy still is for Wood County. Uh, I mean, they're going to, they'll be selling tractors here, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there's going to be a, 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 a ride and drive area where you can probably drive anything from a pickup truck to a skid steer try it out, <laughs> try it out. so this is this is a big deal uh, you know one of the effect one of the effects and i don't want to uh, make it sound uh, simplistic but uh, it's going to there's going to be a big boost to the uh, uh, 
uh, sales tax revenue for the county on this deal. When you when you start bringing in 30, 40,000 people, these people aren't coming from Wood County. They're coming from all over the state. Right. And they're bringing their, I hope they're bringing their billfolds with them. Yeah. <laughs> or their checkbooks. And, uh, that, I mean, you can't underestimate what that does for our for our sales tax revenue. It's kind of interesting. I was talking when I was talking with the sheriff about the, uh, their logistics and the, the providing security and safety for this event. They mentioned the minute this thing gets done, they got to pack, pack up and head on over to Lake Wasich and get ready for the yeah. Wisconsin State Water yeah. Ski Show Tournament. So in one week, Witt County is going to be featured in two different aspects and both ends of the county yeah that's unique it's like a farm sturgis <laughs> <laughs> farm sturgis yeah yeah it's like a sturgis for tractors yeah in but, fact there's going to be an old tractor uh, yeah group. Oliver show yeah and i guess uh, for collectors and the, this is a national show yep. and they decided to piggyback on Wisconsin Farm Technology cool. Days. Yeah. So that means you're going to have people coming to that show or from outside of Wisconsin even. Yep, absolutely. Over 200, I think over 200 Oliver tractors in different years and conditions. But uh, I, do you know any Oliver tractor collectors? They uh, are passionate. Like, I, okay. They are very passionate. If you we maybe watch the Pittsfield Parade on the 4th, but if you see the guys with the Olivers, they are very passionate about their machinery. Okay. I used to work with an Oliver, a guy that collected Olivers, rebuilt them, and I'll tell you what, that's the only tractor that ever rolled on the face of the earth, according to those guys. <laughs> Who needs uh, that other green one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I guess it's a good time in Wood County. This is going to be a big summer this for is Wood huge. Yeah, yeah, this is going to... I'm, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it personally. Uh, I may, I know I'll spend probably the entire first day there for sure. Uh, and, I mean, and, I mean... On the side note, they're, we're kicking this thing off with the University of Wisconsin marching band. <laughs> cool. Really, I mean, if, if nothing else, where, where else, unless you're going to Camp Randall on a re regular basis, you're probably not going to see those guys. Oh, you saw, um, well, they, uh, they saw them at the Cranberry Blossom Fest parade. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's a big event. Uh, it's um, It showcases Wisconsin's uh, agriculture industry, and it highlights Witt County. Witt County is the host of the Wisconsin Farm Technology Days. Farm Forward is the, the, the slogan mm -hmm. uh, celebrating, the, like you said, the some uh, very high-tech farmers in Wood County. It celebrates that. And it's July 10th through the 12th, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. those days. And uh, take advantage of it. Anything else before I let you go, sir? No, that's it. Boy, this these half hours go fast, don't they? Yeah, I, I I, I'm sure. It. I'm sure your predecessor probably told. <laughs> told I'm told. fine. I'm, this is. I look forward to this day every month. It's a really relaxing day. I get to take off my flak jacket. I feel pretty really safe here. So yeah, yeah. You, you, you're you're good here. We're all friends here. But Doug, I appreciate your time, and I know I will. I'm planning on being there in the first day as well. So we'll I'll run into you then. Uh, yeah, well, you'll see me at Farm I'll Tech on Cheese. Kurt. Okay, you're on. I'm, I'm there, guaranteed. Thank you so much for the update, and you and everybody in Wood County government. Have a happy and safe fourth. You too. Thank you. Right. That's Doug Mahan, and that wraps up his monthly report on part one of the Morning Magazine.